Hello everyone and welcome back to Life Transformation UK or if you're here for the first time welcome to Life Transformation UK. My name is Ben and it's my mission with this channel to help you achieve your freedom through confidence and in this video today I want to talk about how to let go of your mistakes because dwelling on mistakes and the guilt and the shame that's often associated with them can be really really damaging to your self-esteem over time and as I've discussed on this channel before self-esteem is very much the foundation of your confidence and if that gets knocked well then the entire tower of confidence falls down as well so we're going to be talking about how to get over when you make mistakes in life whether they're kind of small mistakes or big mistakes and to do that we're going to be going through six steps that will help you to own it when you do make your mistakes and then over time learn to forgive yourself. So if you're excited to learn about how to get over mistakes in the fastest way possible, then make sure that you watch this video all the way through. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, make sure to leave a like because it really helps to boost the video within the YouTube algorithm. It helps to support the channel and it also lets me know whether or not I'm doing a good job as a content creator as well. So make sure that you leave a like on the video if you do find it useful. So as I've already said, shame and guilt can totally wreck your self-esteem after you've made a mistake. So here are six steps for how to get over when you make mistakes in life. Okay, step number one is in fact actually recognizing that you've made a mistake because there are a lot of times when we find it difficult to actually admit that we have made a mistake. Maybe it's our pride that gets in the way or just a lack of understanding about the mistake that we have made at the time. So let's say for example you are in a car park and you pull into a car park space not realizing that somebody else had already found it and was reversing into that space. They just kind of pulled out straight nut and you've kind of just slid right in and stolen the space from them. We might not, or at least kind of in my experience, um, sometimes you just completely miss that altogether uh, and you might not realize that it's happened at all until the person kind of maybe gets out of the car and uh, as often happens, kind of cusses you out a little bit. And then you might actually realize that you have made a mistake. So actually recognizing that you have made a mistake is essential when it comes to getting over your mistakes, because how can you get over something that you don't know has happened yet? So it's a very simple step one. Let's move on to step two. And step two is to take personal ownership of the mistake. And that means taking responsibility ability for what has happened. So in this case, you just you didn't see the other person that was reversing into the space. You just pulled in and you have to take responsibility for the fact that you did not observe that this person was already moving into the space, that they had already kind of claimed that parking space. So in this case, it is then your responsibility to own up to the fact that, yep, you've made a mistake and then you'll probably want to apologize to the person um, and give up the parking space, which would be the right thing to do in this situation. And personal responsibility, I won't lie, sometimes it is difficult to take personal responsibility when it comes to making mistakes because, as I've already mentioned, oftentimes our pride can get in the way. But as part of being somebody who is working on themselves and working on becoming a better version of themselves over time, personal responsibility is huge, whether it is making your bed first thing in the morning or owning up to making a mistake. Personal responsibility is what gives you power in life. It is one of the most empowering things that you can have is personal responsibility, knowing that your actions led to a certain outcome, whether it is positive or negative. So take ownership of the mistake and let's move into step number three. Step number three is to acknowledge what you are feeling in this case or in the case of making mistakes, oftentimes it's shame and guilt. So you have to acknowledge what you're feeling because if you try to bottle it up, as I've said before in my video on how to kind of take control of your emotional health, which I'll link to in the description, I'll have it pop up in the banner above my head, you cannot just bottle up 
your emotions. You have to address them, you have to acknowledge them, and only then can you move forward in an emotionally healthy way. So you have to acknowledge what you're feeling, in this case, probably guilt and shame. And then you get to let that go, because ultimately, dwelling on your emotions does not serve you. You have to acknowledge them. Yes, right now I'm feeling guilty that I stole this gentleman's parking space away from him. But kind of feeling guilty and ashamed about it for the rest of the day is just going to probably ruin your day. So accepting that you've now, kind of, now that you've accepted personal responsibility for it, you can acknowledge the feelings that are kind of swimming around in your mind and then you have to let them go. Otherwise, it's just going to ruin the rest of your day. I, for one, um, have been the kind of person that dwells on their mistakes for years sometimes I there there are even times uh, kind of up to this day where I'll be falling asleep and my brain will uh, say something along the lines of do you remember kind of four years ago when you said this and I'll just go oh dear that that, that was that was an absolute madness of a mistake to make but you have to of course as I've already said, take personal responsibility and then let that go because it doesn't serve you to remain in that state for much longer than it takes to acknowledge what you're feeling. And then you can start to move on into step number four. And step number four is to, of course, understand why it is you made that mistake in the first place. Because if we are taking responsibility, personal responsibility, then we know that it is our actions which led to that outcome. And since it's our actions, we know that there are a number of different ways that we could have approached the situation to have created a much different outcome. In the case of stealing the man's parking space, then it would have been proper observation, actually looking around um, to make sure that you haven't stolen someone's parking space. Not because, um, not just because it is the right thing to do, but also because it would be the safe thing to do. Obviously, you don't want to be reversing into the same spot at once and colliding. So you understand that the mistake was caused by the fact that you did not perform a proper observation before moving into a parking space. And this leads into step number five, and that is, of course, to learn from your mistakes. I personally believe that mistakes are our best biggest and most important teachers in life. I have learned a lot more in my life from the many, many mistakes that I have made rather than all the little successes and the big successes that have come kind of here and there. Mistakes teach you the way not to do something. And that is a very, very powerful approach to take when it comes to learning is learning. This is precisely how not to do things. I learned things like how to properly balance the clutch in a manual car by making mistake after mistake after mistake until I had it figured out. And on top of that now, when I feel myself about to make a mistake, I can recognise that I'm about to make a mistake and hold back from there and perform the correct action instead. So you have to learn from your mistakes so that you do not repeat them in the future. In fact, an argument could be made that it's almost more important to know what not to do in certain situations than it is to know how to do the right thing. Because doing the right thing is often very, very easy. Um, But actually making sure that you're not doing the wrong thing, that can sometimes be a little bit more difficult. But it does tend to teach a much better and a much deeper lesson. So make sure that you are always learning from your mistakes, whether they are tiny mistakes or huge mistakes because it is going to improve your life in the long run. And finally, step number six is to forgive yourself for making mistakes, because at the end of the day, you are only human. We are all human, except perhaps Mark Zuckerberg, we just don't know. Uh, But jokes aside, yes, we are all human. We all make mistakes. And it's something that, as I've said, if you let yourself wallow in it, you're just going to bring yourself down. You're going to ruin your day, your week, your month, perhaps even your life if you don't forgive yourself when you do make mistakes. And self-forgiveness comes from self-compassion, treating yourself like you would your best friend. If your best friend made a mistake, yes, maybe you might be angry and annoyed with them, but you are also going to forgive them because that person is your best friend. You are going to learn to move past it because at the end of the day all the 
positive experiences that you have with that person will outweigh the mistake that they have made. So you want to treat yourself in exactly the same way, where you, of course, accept that you've made the mistake, you've taken personal responsibility, you've understood why that's happened, and now it's time to forgive yourself. And that comes from a place of self-love, self-compassion and self-care. So if you want to explore any of those topics, I'll leave a link to my latest video on self-compassion in the description below. I'll have it pop up above my head right now as well. So you can check that out if you want to explore more about self-forgiveness and self-compassion so that you can move past your mistakes and let go of them. So those are my six steps to learning how to let go of your mistakes and ultimately how to own them and forgive yourself for when you do make mistakes. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have done, please make sure to leave a like on the video because it really helps to boost the video within the YouTube algorithm. It helps to support the channel and to let me know if I'm doing a good job as a content creator as well. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you found value in it, then please make sure that you leave a like as well. If you have any questions or any thoughts, make sure that you leave them in the comment section below and I will answer every single comment as soon as I possibly can do. If you're new to Life Transformation UK, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. I put out three videos every week on self-esteem, self-confidence and general self-improvement as well. So if you're interested in any topics like that, make sure that you are subscribed. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday as well. But otherwise, thank you very much for making it all the way to the end of this video. I massively appreciate it and I hope this video has served you in some way. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in future videos very soon.